One of the most anticipated Combine Harvester mods is out now, the STS-70 series. Hey, what's going on everybody? It's DJ, welcome back to the channel. Today, we've got some new and updated mods to take a look at for Farming Simulator 22. In total, we have 19 mods that were released. For all platforms, we have seven new and 12 updates, and that's it. All the mods today are for all platforms. We're gonna load up each one in the store and take a look at the customization and check out the placeable in the game. We're also gonna take a look at the slot counts for all mods so that Xbox and PlayStation players know exactly what to expect and end with all the mods that got updates today and take a look at the change logs. I do make mod review videos every time mods are released on the in-game mod hub, usually Monday through Friday, but I hear we're getting new mods on Saturday this weekend, so get subscribed if you're that way you don't miss it. Starting off today with new mods for all platforms, we have the John Deere STS 70 series from Sid Modding. This is the Americanized 70 series from 2007 through 2010. A lot of you guys may even have one of these on your farm right now. So, hey, let's check it out in the store. We got 230 horsepower on here. We got a variable transmission, 945 liters of fuel, 19 miles per hour max speed, 10,603 liter capacity, and 19.7 tons. Quite a few of those things can change, and let's figure out how to do that. One thing, it's 30 slots on consoles. There's no if, or ands, or buts. There's no way around it. It's 30 slots on consoles. Moving forward, we have grain take extension. So we have no, we have the Brazil support, which doesn't add capacity, and then we have the Brazil cover. Again, no capacity added. However, the Marer, whenever we load that up there, we go up to 13,200 at 15 liters. Then, if we go with the tip of Mars static, we got 15,330 liter capacity. The Crary Big Top, oh yeah, 15,855. Factory static, 13,215. And the Phil Mar Tip Top Factory Static at 15,855. So you guys could go through, find which one of those that you like. Will brands include Michelin, Midas, and back and forth. That's it. <laughs> we got two wheel drive. We've got rear wheel drive assist. We got duels in the front with a couple different setups for your axle in the back. We've got another set of duels, two wheel drive, four wheel drive. And then we have rear wheel assist and regular track options, which is pretty cool. I do prefer this setup right here with a wide set four wheel drive uh, rear wheel assist. So let's go with that. CB radio, yes or no inside the. Uh, the cord for that CB radio, that's going to bounce around. It's pretty cool. Exhaust. Let's see if we can find our exhaust here. Uh, I think I found it. Yep, there it is. <laughs> so we've got exhaust one, two, three, four, five, and back to one again. So one is different. And then, uh, was it two and four? Kind of same, just point different direction. Same thing with three and five. Beacon lights. We've got, yep or no. So we add one beacon light here on the back. Do we get any beacon lights on the front as well? Yes, we do. Two, as a matter of fact. One on uh, both top and FA. Triangle. It's going to add ourselves a tractor triangle on the very back. Got to have one of those. Green star. You can do yes or no with that if you would like. And we have numbers. Numbers are going to be on the side and on the back between one and number six. Rear hitches. We've got a couple on here. So we've got no standard. we got static left side. We've got static center. And then back in again. And then engine setup. So we have the 9470, which gives you 230 horsepower. 9570, 265. 9670, 305. 9770, 360. 9870, 440. And that's it. <laughs> For some reason, I'll say with the 9970. Nope, not that. This is it. There you go. 440 horsepower is your max. Pipes, you get a 5.6 meter or 18 and a half foot pipe. And then you can bump that up. You can also make the larger one foldable and then get real big and crazy after that. Rear axis, so we have standard and we have the wide rear axis right there. And chopper tailboards, regular vein tailboard or standard. We also have the advanced power cast, which is probably the one to go with. Otherwise, that's it. No other customization. <laughs> Not that you need anymore. And there's no headers that come with this as well. It is alone in the pack. Next up, we have the New Holland TC-59 from Slushes Modding and JV3D Modding. We talked about this a little bit in Farm Sim News, but hey, if you've been waiting on a nice classic New Holland Combine, it's here, baby, let's go! We've also got a header and a header trailer in this pack as well. 
We're going to go over all of it. First off, the combine itself. We've got 225 horsepower, variable transmission, 670 liters of fuel, 18 miles an hour max speed with a 7,000 liter capacity in the tank. This is also going to be three slots on console. No, it ain't. Sorry. Uh, 20 slots on consoles. My bad. I had the wrong thing selected. Hey, if you guys don't know how I do this, by the way, let's pop out of here real quick. I have the Xbox pulled up right to the side of me, and I have everything pulled up so I know exactly what's what. Fun stuff. All right, let's move on. Yeah, 20 slots on this. Oof. Wood Brands, Michelin, Midas. We've also got BKT, Continental, Trelleborg, Lizard Tires, and back in again. Now, we do have some nice twin wheels and everything going on with this. I don't think we've got any... Yo, uh, was that... Hang on, was that an LSW? That's a pretty big tire right there. Oh, I like that. I like that a whole lot. Um, anyway, we'll go here. This will be fine. Side stickers. So we got front, new, original, and then well, that's it. Back stickers. We've got name. So New Holland throws up on there. Name and logo. Just the logo. Tractor triangle, which is a sticker, not an option here. And then back in again. Cover stickers. We got Hydro Plus, All Terrain, original, and back to it. Windows, we have the original on there. We have a new, medium, dark, and used. That's kind of cool having those different ones. Beacons, we have original, which is, well, none. <laughs> You've also got beacons on the front, one on the back, side, and then back to original again. Okay, so just choose where you want the, the single beacon. Extinguisher, it's going to be on the left side. I don't know my left from my right. Where's the extinguisher? There it is. Found it or on the right side, or both even. Probably go with both there. Reverse beep, yes and no. Seat, so we got a leather seat, looking good there. We've also got leather two, leather three, tissue seat, oh boy. I'll wipe your nose off on the seat. Main colors here, we've got New Holland. New Holland old, that looks good. And then New Holland reformed? So I can't really, there's definitely a difference between regular and reformed but i just can't quite put my finger on it grain tank we've also got a color for the grain tank there as well and rim colors so you've got your new holland colors on there if you really want to go with that yo hang on a minute look at that that's not too bad and then your license plate as i mentioned we do have a header with this as well so the header is uh, 2.6 tons by itself 7.5 meters at six mile per hour max speed nothing crazy about this side stickers we got the original ones or the new or nada the alert we got the model model two model what are you talking about alert i guess the stickers on there yeah the real we've got the old and new real on there it's kind of nice to see the differences between those. Never seen that before. Made colors. These will all match perfectly. And the reel itself, you can make that match too. Bro, yo, this new Holland Combine is fresh. This is six slots on consoles. And then we get into what was three slots, the header trailer. This will work perfectly with the header. Colors are the same. Rim colors are all the same as well as the Combine Harvester. So you can make everything match perfectly. Next up is the Massey Ferguson 6S from KRKZ Mining, a mod that I'm very excited to see in the game now. This bad boy right here has a 135 horsepower engine. We got the Dyna 6 transmission, 280 liters of fuel, 34 mile an hour max speed, pretty quick, seven tons, and it's 23 slots on consoles. Again, a high slot day for consoles, unfortunately. Configurations, we have standard. We got 170 kilogram front weight, 280, 390, 500, 610, 720, 830, 850. We can also do a front hydraulic or a nada on there. Now, if we go with out front hydraulics, something disappears. So I need to figure out exactly what disappears. So we'll, we'll do that. Will Brands, Trelleborg, Michelin, Continental, Midas, BKT, Radistan, and Nucky and tires, all the goodies through there. Nice narrow tires, which actually look really, really nice on here. That may be my favorite set. We'll do that. Roof setup, so we have a default GPS roof with just regular GPS, and then back in again. Wheel offsets, so those are on the rear, so the rear extends out a little bit more. So if we go with wheel offset, yes, it's basically nothing. But if we go with no, it's actually, yes, <laughs> that's interesting. Front loader attachment, we've got the quickie and the hower on there. I wonder if that's what disappears whenever we go with the front weight on the front. Yep, that front loader option disappears. So 
other things that we have. We've got engine setup. So we start off with the Massey 6S 135. So we got 135 horsepower. Then we can go with the Dyna VT with the same engine. 145 horsepower engine with two different uh, transmissions and then 155, 165, 180, and back in. If you go with the 180 horsepower engine, the Dyna VT is the only option there. Main colors, all the above. This is everything you would expect to see from Massey Ferguson today. So you got your main color there. Design colors is going to be in the front grille. Change that back to red so you can see it. And then license plate. Oh, no rim colors. Ooh. Anyway, nonetheless, very cool tractor. Check it out. Your next new mod for all platforms is going to be the Lizard Bell trailer pack from Lazy E Modding, who I just started following on Facebook. I just wasn't able to get this out in time to show you guys what he was working on because it's already here. This is pretty cool. So we've got two different versions. We have a longer gooseneck and a shorter regular bumper pull. Colors for both of them are the same. Red, black, gray, blue, yellow, and green. Looks like that green could match John Deere pretty darn good would be nice to see the full color palette but hey we got some good ones in there already one thing to let you guys know the larger version this will hold nine round bales and the smaller version will hold six very cool mod they're both three slots on consoles next is the front cultivator from dmi's dutch modding inc Right here, we've got color options for quite literally everything, but we do have like a custom red-orange color on there. It weighs 1.4 tons, 70 horsepower is required for it, 4.5 meter working width at 10 miles an hour. It is going to be three slots on consoles. Remember, this is a front cultivator, so it goes on the front of your tractor. Otherwise, there's really nothing else to it. Your next to last new mod for all platforms today is the Lizard Tramline Buster from IJ Creative Design. Now, they released their NRH Tramline Buster, which was the branded version of this, um, I think about two weeks ago, we could go somewhere around there. Uh, regardless, this requires 150 horsepower, 2.6 meter working width at seven miles per hour. They do say Tramline Buster creates and cultivates tramlines in the field for other vehicles. However, this can be found in subsoilers we've got wheel options from trelleborg bkt midas and that is it 150 horsepower 2.6 7 miles an hour read all that already three slots are we good i think we're good and your last new mod for all platforms today is the storinator storage silo boo, boo, boo. that's the ultimate silo to store all of your bulk farming products and we'll even store wood chips one of the uh or once the prices are to you liking fill up your truck trail Okay, so it's just a trailer at the end of the day, but or a trailer. It's a uh, placeable, but it looks good. 300,000 liters, and it stores quite literally everything. So that's nice. You got your dump trigger and your field trigger all in one place. Nothing else around it. Very simple, but it does look good. I like this. DJ Go Ham likes this. Oh, yeah. All right, and ending out today with mod updates for all platforms. The very first one is Avon Valley version 1.1. They've corrected the placement of building. The major bug has been fixed there. Expanded the forest and added Swedish translation. And if you're curious, yes, this is the same map that was released three days ago. Next up, we have an update to the Swather Pack version 1.0.1. They fixed the collision issue with the conditioner, reduced the rear end sliding when turning sharp, and fixed the buying razor bar header bug from Swather Combinations missing the conditioner. Got an update to the Massey Ferguson Ilm Series version 1.3. The main decal has been changed on the 5700. The engine decal error has been fixed on the 5700. They fixed missing machines in animation parts. Beacon light has been changed and minor bugs have been fixed. And we've got an update to the Massey Ferguson 5600 Series version 1.2. The rims have been changed and minor bugs fixed. John Deere 2410 got an update from JA Modding version 1.2.2. They fixed a problem with the AI helper, so you should be good now. The Junkari J16 and J18 got an update to version 1.2. They fixed the textureless fill planes on the J18 JLV. They fixed the auto aim nodes and correct placements and changed the mod description version hell <laughs> to 69. And an update to the Brantner TA 16051XXL version 1.0.1 corrected the fill volume and added a license plate. We also have an update to the tool height control for headers mod, one of the biggest and best mods in farming simulator, period. Version 1.7, various smaller visual and functional fixes on the vehicles. And the barn with garage has an update to version 1.1.0.1. Improved textures, minor fixes, and specular mask has been added. Heads up, this is a Matty J mods mod. 
you know it's going to be a good one. We also have an update to commodity storage from Missy B modding version 1.1 corrected the storage limit. Your next to last mod update for all platforms today in the next to last mod grain mill plus version 1.001. They've updated the cracked corn textures. They've added cracked corn bins, which could be purchased at the store. Bids of cracked corn are now produced in addition to being sold in bulk in the silo. Uh, note also to have the cracked corn stored in the silo and not produce bins, the output must be changed in the productions menu from storing to distributing. So cracked corn bins will not be produced. He's also added the ability to remove unmilled grain from the grain mill silo and other minor adjustments. Add your last mod today, an update for all platforms to the extended oil plant version 1.1. They've added soybean oil, the prices of canola oil and sunflower oil have been increased, fixed the issue with the default oil palettes on consoles, mod description revised, English name has been corrected from maize oil to corn oil, they've corrected the errors in the French translation, fixed the problem with the unloading and pallets at the selling station, and removed cotton from the sell point. Well guys, that is it for today's new mod video. I hope you've enjoyed it. If you did, drop a like on it. Get subscribed if you're new and join the Gohan fam. Make sure those notification bells are on as well. That way, you never miss daily farming simulator videos here on the channel. Speaking of, we've already released farm sim news for today. We talked about No Man's Land getting an update. Maze Plus release day. It's coming out on Saturday, tomorrow, October, nope, nope, September 17th. It is not October yet. I'm getting ahead of myself. Either way, uh, we'll see you guys tomorrow for new mods. Check it out. See you then. Peace.